<laughs> Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa. We talked about at the beginning of the show the aging process. It's inevitable for all of us, but if you want to know how, it's okay to you. It's all right. You're still beautiful. But if you want to know how to build a better body to help you out in the aging process, well, our next guest is the perfect person to talk to. Come to the show. Thank you. Let's talk about this aging process. Yeah. When does it exactly begin in, in the average person's life? Well, for men and women, it's a little bit different, and it also depends on the degree of stress that you've had throughout your lifetime. But in general, we start to see the aging process about age 30. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. is it inevitable? Like, I mean, <laughs> you know, really, because we're, we're, we're going to be talking about reversing the trends and all this kind of stuff. But are, uh, uh, what are the causes of it? Can we prevent it before it begins? Yes, that's the whole thing about natural medicine. You know, we have the surgical interventions, but then we ha also... <clears throat> have the ability to intervene naturally and just slow that process down. Mm -hmm. How? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Keep talking. Yeah, George. well today what I thought we'd talk about is, is muscles, really. All right. Because the way the hormones change is for males, as testosterone falls down, it tends to change the dynamics of mus muscle tissue. It, as testosterone falls off, your muscle mass decreases. Okay. As your muscle mass decreases, your need for caloric intake reduces by at least 500 calories per decade. Wow. At this rate, I'm going to be invisible. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> you eat a so, lot, too. Like I do. People I do. would yeah. be surprised yeah. at how sure. much you eat for how tiny that you are, yeah. really. And, and for women, you know, a part of the process is the stress reaction for women, really, mm -hmm. right. and for men. But what happens when a person's under stress, like let's say, uh, you know, the ideal amount of time to exercise is 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go more than 45 minutes of cardiovascular, which is, you know, good for muscle building, etc., what tends to happen though is you get a higher amount of cortisol being released, the same hormone that's released under stress. Okay. As cortisol elevates, testosterone decreases. Okay. For women as well. Okay. And then again, we see a reduction in overall muscle capacity. There's a lot of people that are happy to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Because, well, no, because I think that's part of the, 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 the struggle with starting an exercise program is people yeah. think time, they don't have enough time, and, uh, you know, so that sort of deters them. But if, but if they know that 30 minutes is actually better, yes. better to do than an 60 minutes, Absolutely. it might encourage them a little exactly. bit. Exactly. So, I mean, just again to revisit exercise, what we want to think about is not our body weight, but how much muscle do we actually have? Because for every pound of muscle that we build, we burn 35 to 50 calories more. Okay. okay. So if you increase 10 pounds of lean muscle mass, you will burn an extra 350 to 500 calories a day in your sleep. Which is 30 minutes on the bike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, my neighbor, he said, you know, I, I, I go on the exercise bike and I've only burned like 350 calories, which is like a yogurt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, you know, the idea is build more muscle. So it's not just about running. It's about actually picking up weights. And it doesn't matter what de decade of your life, you know, we want to see our seniors picking up weights as well and getting into a strength building program. Mm -hmm. So Joelle, when you come, often when you come on the show, you talk about our organs, our internal yes. organs. So is yes. the same thing happening to our organs as is happening with our muscles? Exactly. Do they begin to deteriorate as well? Exactly. So again, if we actually talk about the physiology of organs, the specific hormones that affect our longevity and our, our strength is cortisol. Mm -hmm. So as the adrenal gland is under stress, it increases the amount of cortisol, uh, female hormones, DHEA, uh, um, epinephrine, norepinephrine, cortisol, DHEA, progesterone, estrogen, and testosterone. So at the initial phase, you get increased amounts of those hormones. But again, if you go over that time period, being under stress for a longer period of time, that's when we start to see muscle breakdown. Yeah, okay. so you, uh, whenever you mention hormones, there's always that connection it seems yes. every single time because the hormones and that then the glands are affected etc 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 exactly. so what can we do I exactly. mean you mentioned okay. already increasing your muscle mass which exactly. is exactly well increase your muscle mass and all it takes is 30 minutes all you have to do is pick five strengthening exercises again visit a personal trainer so you know what you're doing right. and rotate it three times 
that's it. You know, when you commit to that, it's like, wow, that was really nothing, yeah, you know? Right. Yeah. What about diet? How yeah. does diet fit into Okay, this? so then again, if you're on a strength building pro uh, program, you need more protein in your diet. So on average, the diameter and the thickness of our palm of lean chicken is about 15 grams of protein. Okay. So if you times that by three, that's what? 30, 45? 45. Yeah, but if you're on a strength building program, you need double that amount. You oh, need really? more okay. like 90 to possibly up to 150 if you're doing a really vigorous program. Because again, the body needs protein to build protein. Okay. Now, and when, when people are thinking to themselves, you know, three pieces of chicken, that's a lot. Now, now we're yes. doubling it yes. to six pieces of chicken. Is yes. there any other way we can get protein? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, protein shakes are a great option. And there are many different protein shakes out there. So when somebody says, I had a protein shake, it's like, what kind? <laughs> yeah. How much? And it gets confusing. So to break it down and to make it very simple, first of all, you want to understand what is the source of protein? Is it coming from soy? Is it coming from hemp? Is it coming from rice? Or the most common and for athletes is whey protein, which is okay. a, a dairy-based uh, protein. The, the whey protein research shows that it is very efficient and effective, and there's two different kinds of whey protein. There's an isolate and there's a uh, composite. And the isolate is basically a fast-burning uh, option. So let's say that if you want to have something light for breakfast or if you want to work out, uh, have something light after a workout, the isolate would be the form. Okay. okay. The concentrate is more if you want a meal replacement. Oh, I so didn't it's, know it's, that. I yeah. never understood yeah. the differences between those. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's yeah. a heavier version and it's going to be burned slower. So it's going to give you energy more like a half an hour, an hour later. So again, quick energy would be the isolate. And then you've got combinations of the two. And then cascading from that, you've got other variations where they add a little bit of fiber, where they add greens, where they add berries. Um, and as a naturopath, we've got other variations where they help inflammation or they help support the liver with the basic protein. All right, I think yeah. we're all set now. Yeah. <laughs> Joelle, it's always a pleasure having you on the show. Wonderful. Thank you so yeah, much no. for this advice. I always Thank learn you. new stuff. Yeah, yeah, now we can, you know, work yeah. on our aging yeah. process. Well, yeah. Speaking of diet, lots of protein. We're going to have some protein in the kitchen next with Michelle from Sucre Salé. We'll be right back right after this. Thank you.